Alan Burnett, a former Scottish Police counter-terrorism coordinator. The attacks were multifaceted, they were well organised. What's your assessment of the events of Friday? Well, I mean, I think um, most assessors, including myself, we'd, the, the nearest we've seen before this was Mumbai. Um, and I suppose, um, again, it was a multifaceted, well-planned attack um, that uh, caused serious disruption and tragedy to the city. What more can be done to protect people f from, from terrorist incidents like this? Because in this instance, incident, it was soft targets, it was restaurants, it was a concert hall, it was people just going around their everyday lives. Yeah, in, in the United Kingdom, we've got a, a very good strategy called CONTEST, which, which is the counter-terrorism strategy, and it's got lots of strands to it. Some, is, some of it is about um, disrupting and catching the terrorists. Other bits are about anti-radicalisation. Other bits are about you know, making sure the design of our buildings are, are fine and if anything bad like this does happen, that we've got good contingencies in place to make it return. And I think, really, we've got to review all of that. If I was to pick one of the four, my own choice would be what's called PREVENT, which is the anti-radicalisation strategy. In Scotland, we already work extremely closely with our Muslim communities, and I think that um, we have to just work even harder on that and make sure we're a welcoming place and that everyone feels part of Scotland. And Alan, we learnt today that the UK has foiled seven attempts in the last six months. That's right. To my knowledge, none of them have a, a, a Scottish element. But um, again, we cannot be complacent about any of that. Scotland has a history of um, being either the, uh, you know, involved as a, a location of terrorist attacks, as we saw with the Glasgow bombing. Or in the past, if you go way into the past, when we had the, the Pyra attacks down in London and the south of England, they were making the bombs and they were organising things from Scotland. So we've, we've always had a national and international part to play in countering terrorism. 2,000 more intelligence officers, that will be a, a great boost, I suppose, in, in the war against terror in the UK. Well, I, I think, again, you know, when you inform commentators, the, the threat is ever-present and I think everyone believes it's going to get worse and possibly closer to home. Therefore, I think it's a very wise investment. It will take time to come into place, but I personally welcome the news right across the board from the SAS to the intelligence officers. And again, you know, I think in Scotland we've protected our police resources a bit better than they have south of the border, so I'm sure there'll be a bit of reflection on that down here. How safe are we in Britain? Well, I mean, I, I, I think, um, you know, the, the official line is that um, the threat level is severe, which means an attack is highly likely. We used to use the words on the back of it and, um, you know, we may have absolutely no notice that, that it's coming. So I, I think, again, you know, we've all to be very alert and not alarmed, as, as is the police line. But I think extra vigilance from all of us is very appropriate at this time. I think one of the problems we sometimes have is that the public, fortunately and unfortunately, recover from something like this very quickly. And um, we saw it at Glasgow Airport. You know, we were quickly diverted onto the heroics of Smito and others, and the fact that we wanted to get back on airplanes to go on holidays. Okay. But uh, the professionals have to keep in there and keep reminding the public to be vigilant okay. and doing their own job very well. The refugees coming to Scotland tomorrow, you know, they're arriving in Glasgow tomorrow lunchtime, yeah. are coming direct from a, a refugee camp in, in Lebanon and they're fully vetted, so they pose no security risk, do they? Well, I mean, I'm sure they've been very thoroughly vetted and I think, you know, if you go back to the source and you've had time to live and work with people and do the process properly, it certainly lessens the risk a bit. Thank you all very much indeed for joining us this evening.